All right, let's do a couple of examples of writing out the elements of a set using those sets we talked about before. Our first one says, is the set of all integers such that the square root of that thing is also an integer? So let's think of numbers where their square root is also an integer. Here's an example. Zero is an integer, and radical zero, which is just zero, is also an integer. One and radical one. Then 4 and radical 4, which is 2, 9 and radical 9. And finally, we have 5, sorry, 25 and radical 25 is equal to 5. So my first five elements are... 0, 1, 4, 9, and 25. This set could alternatively been written as the set of all perfect squares. Equally valid way to write down this set. Our second example says, list of five small five smallest elements in the positive integers. This is a new notation that we'll see a couple of times in this class. This is the integers greater than 0. So, it's the set of all positive integers, integers greater than 0, such that x mod 5 is equal to 0. That is that the remainder when you divide by 5 is equal to 0. So, the elements here are going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Because this is the integers that are greater than zero, zero is not in that set, even though the remainder when you divide zero by five is zero. 